everybody. <laughs> oh, my. What a nice group. Um, I want to do, before I go into this little presentation, I just want to give most of you a little bit of a background on myself. A uh, few of you already heard part of the story. I apologize to repeat myself to those that were here early. <laughs> um, I've been in the business uh, for 45 years. Somebody said I was four years old in this room. <laughs> was it you that said that? Yes, I was four years old. <laughs> I'm in the Guinness's Book of Records of the youngest real estate agent. Anyways, I have been in the business for 45 years. And um, I have spent uh, probably 35 of those years minimum, maybe even closer to 40. Um, well, I can tell you when, since 1978. So you figure it out. I flunk math every year. Never been good at math. Uh, since 1978, I've been training real estate people. And, you know, we all have in life, I believe, uh, what we are meant to do. You know, our highest and best use, as use a real estate term. And I can honestly say to you that my highest and best use in real estate, and if someone was to ask me, you know, what is the part of real estate I enjoy most, it's being here right now with you and educating. Uh, I'm very good at what I do because I'm passionate about it. But I'm also extremely serious about it. I'm not looking to teach you how to make $100,000 a year. Because I don't really think that that's very difficult if you're full-time and you're committed to some degree, making $100,000 a year in real estate is not that terribly complicated because of the price of real estate, as we all know. And by the way, I'm going to one-up Tony Ma. It's not easy wanting up someone as successful as him. But the first house I ever sold in real estate was $16,500, just so you know. <laughs> that was the price of real estate back then. Um, but anyways, uh, when I say I'm very serious about it, here's what I mean. I mean that I want to teach you how to make a half a million dollars a year. I'd like to teach you how to make a million dollars a year. And if you're committed to showing up at these sessions, I'm going to give you an, uh, an overview of what we're going to do. I can assure you that I can help you get there. I've been, I want you to look at these training sessions, not as a training session, because that's not how I look at it. I look at it as, uh, I look at it as a coaching session. If you've always wanted or if you've ever thought about Hiring a coach, but the financial, ob and I've coached real estate agents for years. I used to charge a handsome amount of money for that. I now do it free. Something's wrong on that picture. <laughs> I used to charge, now it's free, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I want you to look at these sessions as coaching sessions, group coaching sessions. So if you have a goal, and that's why I'm happy that Tony is asking you to Put your goals down and commit to him what you really are hoping to achieve in 2018. And by the way, Happy New Year uh, to those of you who are celebrating the Chinese New Year. Uh, I want to help you achieve that. And I know with all of my heart that I can do that. But it's a two-way street, right? I mean, I can want you to succeed and I can pour my heart out and I can give you as much of my knowledge and experience as possible. But if it isn't you that shows up, if it isn't you that's going to do the things that I tell you need to be done, then of course it's not going to happen. It's a two-way street. So my career started like all of yours. I mean, I knocked on doors. Uh, I did that for a number of years. And then in 1978, I came to work for Andrew Simmerman uh, as a real estate manager uh, for five years in the Bayview and Eglinton area, right on Eglinton Avenue. He was, home life was not born yet. It was Simmerman Real Estate back then. And I opened that office. And uh, my management career started then. That's when my educating real estate agents began. Prior to that, I was a real estate agent. And then I left in 1983 and opened my own company. And I had two offices. Uh, nowhere near the size and success of uh, Landmark, you know, Home Life Landmark. But I did have two offices, one in High Park and one in the Annex area on Bloor Street, 
uh, by Manning, if you know that area. And uh, I had about 135 agents between the two uh, offices. And, uh, and I had worked, handpicked these agents, and the first thing I said to them, and it's the first thing I'm going to say to you in this uh, challenge that we have of working together to get you to that half a million, million dollar a year mark uh, as a salesperson, because that's, that's what I want to do, okay? I want to make sure you understand that that's what I want to do, okay? Um, when I was recruiting agents, the first thing I said to them back then in uh, 1983, when I was on my own, uh, I said to them, if you're going to work here in this office, the first thing I have to tell you is that you have to learn to be a lister. If you're not a lister now, I will teach you. If you don't want to be a lister, then this is not the place for you to work. Because in, there's only two things that I have to teach you <coughs> to be hugely successful in this business. And the number one thing that everybody in this industry has to learn is you have to learn how to hunt. Because this is a business of hunting for business. So how do we learn to hunt? We're going to talk about that in these sessions of learning how to hunt. Now, learning how to hunt without any fear of rejection. So I get you to think about something. You don't need to answer, but I'd like you to think about it in your mind, okay? Just think about this. If you were invited to a uh, networking session and you knew nobody at this networking session, and there's about 500 people in the room, the question I ask is I want you to do a self-analysis right now. So here you are. You've got an opportunity to go to this session of networking, and there's 500 people that are going to be there. And these are not real estate people, by the way, okay? So there's business opportunities here, okay? Who are you? Are you the type of person that's going to walk into this room of 500 people, and you're going to instantly mingle, introduce yourself, and start communicating with people, and... Uh, very comfortably, very freely, without any uh, trepidation of any kind. Are you that kind of person? Or are you the kind of person that would walk into this room, find a place to sit down and, you know, observe what's happening? Let me look at this person. Let me look at this person. Let me look at that person. And check the room out for a while. And then after a period of time, get up and selectively start talking to certain people. Is that who you are? Or are you a person who says, you know, I don't know anybody. I'm not going at all. Let me say to you, if you're the person who can walk into that room without any hesitation and start mingling around and talking to people, not worrying about sitting down and observing and any of that, then you're a person who doesn't need to worry about the fear of rejection very much because you already are the kind of person that I could teach how to be able to make those calls, make the hunt without any problem at all. Because that's the number one thing that you have to learn to do. you got to learn how to hunt, and you got to learn how to do it every day, all the time. It doesn't have to be all day, but you got to learn how to hunt. The second thing I need to teach you to do, and if I teach you these two things, you'll learn all the rest by yourself, truthfully. I've proven it. How to be able to sit across the table from a customer and do a presentation that wows them, that says, whoa. Am I ever glad she, he came here today? I would not have known this. I would have not known that. I would have not known this. Boy, thank God I came here today. Or thank God she came here today. I still have that goal, folks. Right now, after 45 years of being in real estate, that is still my goal. Whenever I stand in front of a group of people, I have one goal. I, want you, I don't want you walking out that door. I want you flying out that door. I want you thinking, whoa, am I ever glad I came here? Because I did learn something. I am better today than I was yesterday because I came here. I'm asking for an hour and a half to two hours of your time. And I used to charge an awful lot of money for a couple hours of my time. 
So I'm asking you to respect that, and I'd love for you to come, but it's up to you whether you do or not, okay? So after I opened my own real estate company in 19, and I sold it in 1990, Andrew Zimmerman came back into my life again. Yes, I'm going to turn this on in a minute, but you can leave that on for now. Thank you. He came back into my life and he says, I've got a real estate franchise and I need to uh, start selling in California. So from 91 to 2000, I sold everything. And I moved to California and I was knocking on real estate doors 50,000 miles a year. I put on my car, knocking on real estate doors for 10 years, nine years. 2000, I came back. And I started two companies. One, E2000 Training Institute, which was a RICO-approved education provider. I had eight courses. And, of course, technology already was big time, not as big as now, of course, but it was started to, it was really back in 2000, uh, crazy, crazily coming onto the scene, as we know. And I started building courses because what I wanted to do was teach real estate agents how to be able to make money online. At the same time that I started this training company, E2000 Training, and by the way, I'm a realtor. I don't know anything about technology. Uh, I certainly didn't back then. Certainly knew nothing about computer programming. I hired, I started a company called Web Tech Design. And I hired programmers and it was really fun hiring a programmer, uh, reading their resume, C Sharp, C++, you know, HTML, you know, Java, you know, and <laughs> the hell's that? He's cute. I'm going to hire him. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, what did I know? But I started a company called E, uh, called Web Tech Design, and I designed with my, pro I said to them, listen, I don't know anything about programming, but I know what this real estate industry needs as far as technology and a website. You are going to build me what I tell you to build me. That's what I said. You are going to build me what I tell you to build me, because I know what they need. So we created a product called Moneymaker. And it was not just a website. Uh, and by the way, the first mandate that I had when, we, when I said, you're going to build me what I want, the first mandate that I had was I had already started investigating a lot about search engines, search engine optimization, and how to be able to get found, and so on. I had already started doing some research on my own before I had this company. So I knew that if I was going to hire these programmers, and they were going to build me a product, a, number, a website product for the real estate industry, the number one thing I wanted to make sure they knew was, we've got to make sure that this website uh, is able to attract customers. So I need you to help me make this uh, website uh, a product that's going to get business. So we need to make we need to make sure that these real estate agents don't just have a product that they they actually can get a, uh, make money through it uh, by being able to code it in a way that search. And I didn't even know what I was talking about back then. So I hired these guys. They started to build. It was a website that you could uh, customize your your home page. You could add articles and pages. It was your contact manager. It was your listing presentation. It was your e-cards. It was your follow-up system. It was your service reports. It was everything a real estate agent needed to make money online. Little by little by little by little by little, we built this from 2000 uh, to 2015, actually 2014, the fall of 2014, when Lone Wolf Real Estate Technologies, I think many of you know who they are, Lone Wolf Real Estate Technologies came along and said, we want to buy your product. I had about 2,900 users, uh, real estate agents using the product. They were paying a monthly fee. I was doing very well. Uh, but as they say in business, you have to look for your exit strategy. And I am a few years older than almost everybody in this room. Uh, by the looks of it, a lot older than most of you in this room. <laughs> Uh, I thought, here's an opportunity that I have to exit. So I sold the business. And I went to work for them for a while. Until Andy called me back again.
Uh, and here I am. Uh, so I say that to you because what I want you to understand, I understand enough about technology to be able to teach you how to be able to build your business, not only in the traditional methods, uh, which I learned very, very well over many, many, many years, but also over the last 18 years, how to be able to do that online as well. So what I'd like to do today is uh, one thing. Uh, sorry, I, I got booted out here. I need to go back in. I'd like to show you what we're going to teach you here. Home Life University, when Andrew asked me to come back, thank you. Uh, when Andrew asked me to come back uh, in March of 2017, I was laying in at my poolside in the home that I have in Florida, and I was, you know, very comfortable. Hey, how nice. Even my dog was happy. Uh, anyway, uh, but here I am. I, I said to him, I will take on this, this responsibility if you allow me one thing. I want to build an e-learning platform where I can take, where I can start building a lot of courses and to put together a really great e-learning platform for the company. That was what my goal was because I've always been a person who has to have a goal. To just come and do a training session is easy for me. But I have to have a reason why I'm coming here. I have to have a reason why I came to the company. I'm very goal-driven, my whole life goal-driven. So here's the Home Life e-learning platform, what we're working on, and we're getting very close. I have been for the last year writing courses, writing courses, writing courses, to the point where I'm blind with writing courses. I've probably written about 30 in this year right now. Um, and I'm writing a book. I'm almost done. Uh, this book is what we're calling uh, Home Life's MBA course for real estate and what it takes today to be successful. And I've written already six chapters. I'm in the conclusion right now of this book, all of which uh, is going to be available online with the e-learning platform. Some of the courses you're going to have the uh, benefit of attending uh, should you decide to come to these sessions. So we're going to have our, I'm doing webinars now, by the way, every Tuesday at one o'clock, you can take a webinar with me. Uh, and by the way, I have people who have taken my courses when I was doing E2000 training multiple, multiple times. Uh, coming to my course once, we learn maybe three to five percent. Uh, if you take it a second time, you know, you learn a little more. So taking a course two, three times, there's nothing wrong with that because what it does is it really embeds it into the mind and into the heart where you internalize it. And once it's internalized, you are automatically driven to do it. So uh, taking a course more than one time is not a bad thing. So archived web, uh, webinars every Tuesday at one o'clock, from one o'clock to two o'clock, all you do is go to Home Life. Dot com, go into the resource section, and uh, there's go to the calendar. You'll see a calendar there, icon top right hand corner, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it'll be the calendar. You click on that and look at Tuesday's date, and it'll say uh, accept or reject. And you accept, and uh, you are then registered to take my course. You'll automatically get an email, and it's very simple to connect. Uh, they will be archived, so if you miss any, you can go there at any time after they're done, and you can take it again and again, because they'll be archived. There will be downloadable workbooks, so all of the courses that I've been writing, uh, all of this, this uh, will be archived in little e-books that you're going to be able to download. Of course, there'll be a course catalog. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to, um, you know, an office with some videographers, and we're going to start doing some, some videos. So there'll be videos there eventually as well. I'm just starting that. Uh, and of course, I'm, this course, this MBA course that I've developed, part of it is going to be what we call the uh, higher standards. Uh, and if you take these certain courses, you will be given the higher standards award, and you will get a certificate, and so on. So I'm very serious about this e-learning platform, and I'm very excited. Okay, that's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, excuse me, the, the last one, Mr. Dibeke, the, 
Yes, yes. There'll be a number of courses that you have to take, and if you finish and complete each one of these courses, you will get a certificate at the end. That, um, it's probably going to be, right now I'm thinking it's going to be two uh, to get the certificate. Uh, but to finish the whole MBA, it's going to be many, many, many courses. But to get a higher standard certificate, uh, it's probably going to be two courses that you'll have to take to get that certificate. So let's talk a little bit about some of the courses that I'm going to be bringing here to this group. Okay, One of the courses that I'm going to be bringing here is one of the most important, as we know, is how to be able to generate real estate leads. And I'm going to be talking about both traditional, in other words, the methods that, uh, the basics of real estate, uh, and of course, online. So both offline and online. And it's interesting because, you know, I say to real estate people all the time, you know, time for you to get back to the basics. This is one of those times. You know, I've been through five booms and five crashes. Wow. Five. So I know what it means to have a good market and then see a market level off and then see a market be a down market. I will never forget, as I mentioned earlier to a few people here, 23% interest rates, 1982 to 1984. Every week, a quarter of a point higher, 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 to the point where interest rates reach 23% for first mortgages. You go out and try and sell real estate then. Wow. <laughs> 23% do some research on history of mortgage rates in Canada back in 1983-84. Uh, yes, unbelievable what happened to the real estate industry in that time. That's when I coined this phrase, and uh, I'm going to share it with you. Uh, the one thing to always remember about real estate, and you've heard this phrase before, but I'd like to expand upon it. I'm sure you've heard it. R sales, real estate, of course, is a numbers game. It's a numbers game, but it's a consistent numbers game. It's the consistency, the tortoise and the hare story. You know, the tortoise won the race because the methodical little by little, day by day, consistency all the time doing it. It's the consistency that is most important. Now, let me give you this next part. The only thing in real estate, I don't want you thinking about market conditions anymore. Get that thought right out of your head because, you know, that is going to, can hurt you at times. Because believe me, you know that we've been in a market 17, 18, 20 years now, since 1997, to be honest. That's when the market started to climb. That's how long the market has climbed, since 1997. So I say this, okay. How many, there are lots of real estate people in the hottest market our industry ever experienced that didn't make any money. So the fact that a market is hot doesn't automatically mean you're going to make a lot of money. Lots didn't make a nickel, as we know. As a matter of fact, 30 to 40% of real estate agents never sold one single solitary house last year. Or the year before. Or the year before. So market conditions... I want you to think differently. I'd like you to remember this. The only thing that ever changes in real estate are the numbers. The numbers change. The market doesn't. The numbers don't change, rather. So if you understand that this is a business of hunting, number one. Number two, you understand that this is a business also not only of hunting, but of numbers, that it's a numbers business, so you're, you got to be doing those numbers every day, every day, every day. I used to have a, 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 not a goal, but a standard in my office when I was hiring real estate salespeople, independent real estate company, uh, down on Bloor Street and in High Park in 1983. Home life was not born yet. I said... If you're going to work here, you've got to be a lister, and you have to be, you have to make 100 phone calls a day. And I, I sat with them and showed them how to make those phone calls. I got on the phones with them. And I had, that was their, that was their standard, 100 calls a day. 
I don't care how many answer the phone, but you got to dial that phone a hundred times. And by the way, let me give you some stats. Out of about a hundred phone calls, you'll probably talk to about 20. And out of 20 calls, you should get at least, if you're doing it right, minimum one appointment. If you're doing it right. That's really good. So, here's what I ask you to understand, is if I can get you to follow my system, so the first thing we're going to talk about in one of our courses is how to generate leads. Part of that is going to be online, and part of that is going to be uh, in the traditional methods, using the telephone, which is another course that I'm going to be teaching here. How to be able to make outgoing calls and getting over and past that fear of rejection. I say this to you, give me 30 days. 30 days. And in those 30 days, you got to be willing to be uncomfortable. Because anybody who says, oh, I can make phone calls without any problem, has probably overcome the fear of rejection. But 98% of real estate people have a problem with it. I was petrified when I first got in the business, having to make phone calls. The first, the first time I ever went out door knocking was in May, 1974. I remember the name of the street, Muskoka Avenue in W6 area, south of Etobicoke. Lady was hanging laundry on a clothesline. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> clotheslines. No photocopiers in my day. And I walked up and I gave her my business card and she ripped it up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I, my tail between my legs. I go slithering back out. I get in my car. I go back to the office. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> So let me tell you, we all go through it, okay? But if you will give me 30 days and you do what I tell you to do and you're willing to be uncomfortable for 30 days, I'm telling you, you will get over it. And it'll be gone forever. And when that is gone, here's what has happened to you. You know, those Olympic runners, just use them as an example. Those Olympic runners, to be able to do the marathon race, you know, you get to a point where you got to break through that wall where you think you can't go any further. You know, you got to break through that wall and then you can go forever, almost. That's the wall for you. And I'm going to help you break through that. So I'm going to teach you about telephone techniques. We're going to learn that together. I'm writing courses on mastering Facebook. And I'll be honest with you. I'm not a social media expert, but I know enough to educate you and I know enough to be able to teach you how to be able to make money online. I always believe to be considered an expert, I, I consider myself to be an expert in real estate. I and I consider myself to be an expert at education because I've done it for a long, 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 long time. I've physically done it, but I have never done social media as a business. In other words, I have never had a business managing social media accounts. That's what I call an expert. Okay, but I know enough to teach you how to make money online. So we're going to, I have right now written two books on mastering Facebook, part one and part two. Uh, and part three is part of my book. So that's another course. I like this course. It's called What Now? I, um, I'm going to be, uh, it'll be brought to you, but I'm going to mi um, mix it with another course that I'm doing here. Uh, but what now is this? When you first come into real estate, I don't know how you felt, but you walk in, you finish your, your courses that you had to take to get licensed. It was two weeks in my day. Uh, you had to spell your name right and you got 75%. It was easy. I think it cost me $50 and I was a real estate agent. 50 bucks. Um, this is a course that once you come into the business, like, oh my God, where do I begin now? What do I do? How do I start? Where's, where's, where do I begin? This course talks about the two paths of real estate. Path number one, working buyers. And path number two, working listings. And the difference between the two. And the responsibilities and the skill set of being a buyer's agent or being a listing agent. 
And we explore those. And that's what that course is all about. Because it, first, you got to know you're on the right track. Um, ah, this is going to be one of the first courses I teach here. How to prepare a winning listing presentation. Uh, my favorite course to teach because anything listing related, I love, love, love to teach. I was a lister. I was lucky. I went to work for a small little tiny real estate company many, 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 many years ago. And the man that I went to work for, there was only five people in the office. And by the way, for the ladies in the room, I'm speaking to you directly right now. Back in 1974, when I walked into this little real estate company uh, up the street from where I lived, uh, they said, we don't hire women. Oh, it was allowed to be said back then. Well, that's all they needed to tell me <laughs> was they don't hire women. Well, you're going to hire me. <laughs> I did get to work there. Uh, but anyways, this course is about uh, how to be able to build a listing presentation, a digital listing presentation, as well as a paper, because I believe in using both, and to be able to sit across the table uh, with a really powerful listing presentation. That's what this course is. Uh, and it's going to be one of the first ones I do, if I'm not mistaken. Um, leveraging social media. Uh, I'd like you to think about this. For those of you who don't have a website yet and don't have a social presence, uh, you're going to have one. If you're going to take my courses, you're going to have one because you have to, period, end of story. Um, but here's what I want you to understand about social media and about the internet and about making money online. I really boil it down to this. I want, to vis I want you to visualize. Think of uh, the wheel of a car on your car and think of the hubcap on your car. Okay? The hubcap is the website. The bolts that hold that wheel on is social media. Facebook, uh, WeChat, Twitter, YouTube. Instagram, YouTube, blogging. Each one of those bolts is a social media account. Understand that your social media account has one job only, and that is to drive traffic to your website. Think of your social media accounts as your prospectors out there hunting for business for you. If you're doing it right, that's what your social media accounts should be doing, if you're doing it correctly, they're hunting for business online for you. That's what they do. And their job is to send people to your website for one reason. Because what you're trying to do is understand what the goal of a website is. I ask that question all the time, and I get a variety of answers. Uh, I want to make it clear what the goal of a website is. It's one thing and one thing only. To get people that come to your website to be willing to give up their email address. Your website needs to be collecting email addresses for people that you do not know. So... My social media accounts, and that's what this course is about, leveraging social media to help build search engine ranking, search engine optimization, SEO, because your social media accounts are going to help you get your website ranked. And when your website is ranked, the thing you have to understand is before anybody online is Ever going to be, anybody searching online is ever going to be able to uh, potentially be a customer of yours, you have to understand before you ever find the customer, you have to have the search engine bots find you first. The first thing you need to know is that Google finds you and indexes you and then gets you ranked. That's the first thing you need to do. If your website doesn't get ranked, uh, and people can't find you online, you're not going to be able to build a database of potential customers online. So that's what I'm also going to be talking to you about. And it is not rocket science. It isn't. There's certain things that you have to do, and when you learn how to do them, problem is solved. So I want to make sure you understand, all of this is, I'm you. <laughs> 
I was blessed because I hired these programmers. But understand, these programmers were programmers. They weren't search engine optimization experts. That's a completely different specialty. I had to pay them to fly to California and various parts to understand SEO and learn SEO. Because that's not something you learn when you learn how to code. So it's a specialized field. So, but I had these programmers who I could go to uh, to help educate me with technology. This is uh, another very, very important course. So now that I've taught you how to build this wonderful listing presentation, you now have to take this listing presentation and sit across the table from a seller and be able to close them to list with you. Seven steps to getting them to list their house with you or to selling their home. These are the seven steps. So this is an educational course that's going to teach you how to be able to take your presentation and be able to expand upon it, but also how to be able to uh, deliver that presentation when you're with a seller. That's basically what that course is about. Also extremely important. Three steps to building your business. Um, you know, it's, we talked about one of them already. Uh, number one, you got to learn to hunt. That's the first thing you got to learn to do. The second thing I said to you is you got to learn how to be able to develop or be able to deliver a really great presentation. So if I can teach you how to be able to hunt and in that hunting process get listing appointments, and then I can teach you how to sit down across the table and how to impress a seller, I don't need to teach you anything else. You'll, you'll learn all the rest yourself, truthfully. Those are the two most important things. And that's what's going to determine you becoming one of the top 3% in the industry. Because you and I both know the top 1, 2, 3% in the industry are going to be doing all the things I'm going to be teaching you and definitely are listers. You know it and I know it. They're listers. That's why I believe in it so much. Uh, so we're going to talk about the three steps. I believe in systems. I believe you need to have systems and you work your systems. And that's what I always say to real estate agent. Uh, when you walk into the office every day, why are you going in there? What are you doing first? What are you doing second? You need to have a system. Think about the career you had before, whatever it was. You know, you were an employee of some company. And you had, you had a routine. And you followed that routine. All of a sudden you come into real estate, you don't have a routine now. We need to teach you a routine. You need to know what you should be doing and, and, and do it on a regular basis consistently all the time. Uh, and that means having systems in place. Uh, one of the things that I say to real estate people, you should do. And if you haven't done it, you should do it for yourself. And don't share it with anyone. This is for you only. And what this is, is a look in the mirror. I want you to start tomorrow, and for two weeks, I want you to log everything you do hour by hour as it relates to your business. So, if you don't come into work tomorrow, and you stay home, or whatever it is, and you're not working, I want you to say, yesterday, day off. Nothing. Okay, I did nothing. Now, if Monday morning you come in, what time did you come in? What did you do from 9 to 10? What did you do from 10 to 11? What did you do from 11 to 12? I, hour by hour by hour by hour, I want you to write down what you do, what you've done. And I want you to be honest with yourself. You're not showing this to anybody. At the end of two weeks, I want you to look at this. And I want you to think about your goal. And if your goal is to make a half a million dollars a year, what, based on what you're doing, this log that you've created, would you hire yourself and pay yourself a half a million dollars a year based on what you're doing? That's what you need to ask yourself. Can you repeat this one? It's extremely powerful, and it works. It's the first thing I said. If you're going to be coached by me, you can't come to the next meeting without two weeks, hour by hour, what you've done every hour. Don't lie. Don't lie. And then, 
What is your goal? Your goal is to make a half a million dollars a year. If you were hiring an employee to do this job and pay them half a million dollars a year, look at that schedule for two weeks and say, am I worth that? That's what you have to ask yourself. Because truthfully, the people who are earning a half a million, a million, and greater, two million, three million, I, knew, I know people who are making five million a year in this business. And I'm telling you, you look at their day plan. And, and, and one thing I want to make sure you, there isn't a person in this room that doesn't have the capability of being as good as they are. It's within you. And my job is to dig inside that heart of yours and to pull it out and show it to you. That's what my job is. So this is about systems. 21 wows. Um, these are the things that you're going to do right now with your listing presentation and how you know, implementing some of these things uh, is, is wow, okay? Is wowing your presentation. That's basically what we're talking about here. Tips. Just finished this course uh, a couple of weeks ago, Social Media Success. And it, your, it is your virtual doorway. In other words, it is, your social media is, uh, instead of knocking on doors one by one by one by one, virtual uh, social media is your virtual doors. That's what it is. It's knocking on doors virtually. And, uh, and there's some basic, basic, basic things that you have to learn to do. Oh, I love this one. The art of negotiating. We're going to teach you the difference between a negotiation and a debate. There's a big difference between negotiating and debate. It's not what you say when you're communicating with people, but it's how you say what you say, and it's the tone of voice you use when you say it. We're going to analyze your communication skills. There's two ways of communicating. Communicating through statements. No house in this area is going to sell for that kind of money. If you sign it back, I'll lose them. My buyers will not pay that kind of price. Statement, statement, statement. The second way is through questioning. To be skilled in sales, you got to learn how to question because it's all about questioning and how to be able to question effectively. So we're going to focus uh, on the art of negotiating. Great course. You don't want to miss that one. Don't want to miss any of them. Uh, you know, when we first got into the business, there was only two ways to be able to uh, meet people. You met them door by door or phone call. That's it. Those are the only two ways. Now, today, we have a multitude of ways to be able to meet people, right? Uh, we're going to look at a lot of those. Uh, back in the day, and it's still important today, I don't want to make, I want to make sure you don't think that I'm saying you shouldn't be doing that, because that's the basics. I'm going to be teaching you the basics. Your ability back in the day when I first got started was how well you could communicate, how well you could talk to people, because it's about inspiring people. We call it online engaging. You know, when you're face to face, it's inspiring them, Okay. Um, so it used to be how well you could talk, and it still is. But today, it's extremely important to know it's about how well you can write. Because people are meeting you for the first time online a lot of times. And it's content that is, uh, that is capturing them. So learning how to write for the web is different than writing an ad in a newspaper. Because the ad in the newspaper was back in the day when I was you, a salesperson. Um, the ad was to make the phone ring. Today, uh, and that's what we call push marketing. You know, advertising, door knocking, uh, radio is push 
my newsletters, direct mail, that kind of thing, uh, was all about push marketing, pushing my services on you. Whether you wanted my newsletter or not, you got it. It was very different today with online. It's about pull marketing. Uh, it's about creating great content, putting it in the right place, making sure the content has keyword phrases in it, learning how to write for the web so that content can get found and how to be able to get me, the consumer, to be willing to give up an email address. That's what we're going to teach you in this course. That's what that's all about. And it's not complicated. Here's a number of other courses that are coming soon. Uh, I'm constantly writing. Um, and, uh, you know, I just finished one on, uh, just recently, I just finished one uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, on how to hold a successful open house. Uh, very happy about that course. So if you're doing open houses, it's, it's a course that, again, making sure you're doing it the right way and you've thought about it and you've planned it correctly and so on. So there's lots and lots to come. I'm very excited that you've invited me here. I don't know what our schedule is going to be. Tony Ma is trying to get me here frequently. Uh, and it's a 30-minute drive along the 407. <laughs> I only say one thing. The day I come to this office and, I, and, and drive this distance and I see only five people in the room is the day that I call Tony and say, that's it. Because I'm very serious about your career. I come here with serious intentions. I only want serious people to be here. Uh, and then I know you're gonna, it's going to work, and he's going he's gonna to put a chain lock on me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all very, very much. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you.